Hello. So a little over 30 minutes ago, Pete and I finished work, passed the cathedral, and headed out on yet another bike packing adventure. I know it's about time in it. We've hit the first climb at Wells, up through the Horringtons, which is also into a headwind. I've planned the route, I've got everything ready. Uh, we've got a good day ahead, I've even booked the weather. But do we know where we're camping tonight, Pete? No. no. <laughs> Pete had one job, to book the campsite. We haven't got one. So this might not just be my second bike packing trip. It might be my first wild camp, but who knows? We might get lucky. There are three or four campsites. We have 88 kilometers to head towards Savanac Forest. Oh, why am I doing this on the steepest part of this climb? <laughs> Mental. Because <laughs> of, of the headwind. This is the only place where I've got the headwind. Right, so we have 88 kilometers, as I just said, to Savanac Forest. We're going along the Avon and Somerset Canal through devices. <sighs> yeah, should be a good one. We've learned from our mistakes by not doing 130 kilometers straight out of work. So we should be putting the tents up in the daylight, which is just as well, because I can't remember how to do it. But when I had everything ready, I thought I was packing light today, but my overall bike setup was 18.3 kilograms. I don't know how people do this for weeks on end, because I've only got <laughs> what I need for the weekend, or one night, and I know I haven't even got everything. You brought the kitchen sink with you. <laughs> I did. And again, I've, because I'm such a short ass, these bags hardly fit on my bike. Whereas all six foot out of Pete, with his bigger bike frame, seems to have loads of room. When he's not looking, I might sneak one of my bags onto his bike frame somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, I better put the camera down and get on with this bloody climb. But look at this weather though. Amazing. Right, so far so good with the route. After last week's uh, little malfunction, where the route that I thought I was doing wasn't the route showing on my Wahoo. But I made some last minute changes to go by the cut Ken Hill Locks at Devizes, so we're gonna go along the canal path. So I'm hoping that it's still actually gonna happen and we're not gonna end up following the old route. But I have no idea where we are now, but so far, lanes are lovely. It's too good to be true. With you, there's always off-road somewhere. <laughs> oh, there'll be off-road somewhere. But it's uh, whether we've got somewhere to sleep, that's what I'm worried about. I'm absolutely loving this route, Pete. How are you? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is the way to the canal. You didn't expect to get away with it on the road, did you? <laughs> this looks like a private <laughs> road. On, on the plus side, there's probably plenty of places to camp on the way down there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> if you're out the way. Where you want to sleep? I'll find you a field. <laughs> See, that was short-lived. 
we're back on the road that we walked, <laughs> we turned off. <laughs> so we didn't need to go down there at all. Why did you do it? <laughs> it uh, I'm trying to rival uh, Lost Lane's Jack Thurston for off-road riding Ooh. and adventure cycling. <laughs> <laughs> what if I say I'm sorry? What if I make a scene? Was that worth the off-road? Yeah, am, am I let off now? <laughs> uh, well, no, because we haven't finished yet. Hey, but we still haven't got somewhere to camp yet, so don't start getting funny yet just yet. Hey, watch where you're walking. <laughs> you don't want to take that into your tent again. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Forgot how to use the phone. It's not as easy as you think. That's why I didn't do it beforehand. It's probably closed. Like every other shop on the way. Does it make it easier with the glasses on? Yeah, it means she's going to answer the phone. Thank you for calling Poston Hills. <laughs> <laughs> right, so no luck on the phone to Poston Hills, which is in Savannah Forest. We've messaged world camping just to the south of Savanac Forest. Um, and there is one apparently as we get into Marlborough that we're gonna check as we get there, but we might just have to turn up, see what they've got, or um, we'll find a field. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. You're try, try, just trying to drop me in the deep end. We won't get any noisy neighbors, <laughs> no screaming kids. Bike packing 101. Be lovely. <laughs> All right, let's crack on. Currently devices. I don't know how far we've got to go actually. It's not far now, is it? No, it can't be. What?
congratulations to the route master because today's route has been absolutely sensational north by six downs doing us proud again we are now 4k outside of marlborough it's decision time of where we're going to camp we still have no idea pete's still sure that we're going to get uh, past the campsite on the way in and we're just going to try go to poston hills and see if they can fit us in somehow otherwise might be camping in there <laughs> pete's using all his charm Uh, oh, so you can pay in the morning? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. That yeah. Right? yeah. How would you like us to pay? Like you can pay by card or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So we, it's bath tackle rate, I think it's eight pound something a night. Each. Perfect. That's nice, yeah, thank that's, you. Yeah? Perfect, yeah. You. I'll just get you um, a bath now and everything. Thank you for being so accommodating. <laughs> he is one lucky boy. We've managed to get in at the first one we tried, Poston Hills. It looks beautiful as well. You are a very lucky boy. I'm feeling quite smug right now. <laughs> <laughs> you told you it was going to work out. She, she was lovely. So if you're looking to come bike back in near Savanac Forest, yes. come to Poston Hills. Uh, that, that lady was very, very nice, despite the fact we've just oh. turned up. But look at this. This is uh, Savanac Forest campsite. We just need to decide where we're going to stop now. After you, but if you start heading off down that track, which is off road, <laughs> the stick you gave me earlier. <laughs> I blame you for the route, it's alright. <laughs> X marks the spot. Yeah. With all the smoke. <laughs> sunshine. Perhaps you might get invited to the barbecue. Might be. A few beers. <laughs> it's only uh, one word to describe today, isn't it? Splendiferous. Splendiferous. <laughs> I haven't heard that since, oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, let's see if we can put this tent up again. Mm. You're not finished yet? No, no. I'll put yours up first. I've got video evidence of me just putting it up. I don't know where you get that from. I'm going to sabotage that, <laughs> that evidence. <laughs> right, that's tent, no food. Right, so after the little debacle of trying to find a bench, on my tandem trip with Deb, I found an app called Your Next Picnic and it tells you where all the park benches are. So I have found a perfect bench for us to have our burger that we're going to devour now and then get back up the bloody hill, the bloody big hill, up to the campsite and we're going to get some rest. Tomorrow we've got about 146 kilometres all the way back to Glastonbury and a little bit more to Wells. So. We'll see how his legs are tomorrow. But from Pete and I, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I had the meatless. Meatless, there we go. And you, you had the fully stacked. <laughs> what do they look like? Oh. I'm too busy looking. I was filming the top of your head then. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. That's loaded. That, that power you. For the first hour tomorrow at least. <laughs> <laughs> but what a view! I've just got to somehow get all that back on my bike. Pete's new done is. <laughs> yeah, this is both beautiful and terrifying, Pete. <laughs> you haven't got 25 more tires. I don't know whether you can see, but I've actually lost the route. So it's decided to kick me out the route. I don't know which way we're going. Right, in my defence, I didn't know the 303 was on the route. I didn't check it properly enough. Oh, baby, this time will be gone forever. Never in a lifetime will you see us back here again. So come before it's too late. Hurry now, cause I can't wait. Let's put on our end.